Hello everybody, it's officially time to do my weekly task migration and I low-key don't even want to have to flip through my pages right now because this week was so crazy. So what I'm actually going to do is, see I still got stuff from like I haven't closed out any of the days this week. It was just so busy. So I'm actually going to take a second and we're going to take little pictures of each of the days and this week and then I'm going to go through and just like check everything off and then migrate what needs to be migrated today and yesterday we're fine and then I'm going to take a picture of this week just to see where we're at okay and what I'm going to do in regards to this is I'm going to just if I'm quite honest everything's going to get just an x through it this is what I do when I need to reset my migration is I'm just going to cross everything off, go through it. There's very limited time this coming week. So I have to just be mindful of what is going where. And I don't want to have to worry about missing something, crossing everything off here visually in the book so I can close out the days. Yeah, anything that's open is just getting goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Uh, I'm not even gonna worry about this this week. Goodbye. Wee. Wee. What I actually might do is use a little of my hybrid system this week, just because I know not everything's gonna be able to get done. And I do use like a hybrid system with my Apple Notes, which is my, if I need to like overflow somewhere and then come back and review it later, I will sometimes do that. All right. Okay, did that. Did this, did this. I still need to do my D&D prep, but I have a little bit of time. I need to do this first so that I don't have to worry about it later. I don't currently have a cover on this notebook because the cover that I've been using, I'm protecting the embossing that's on it right now because the embossing is already coming off a week after I've got it. I'm not super happy with the cover that I got. I ordered a custom Naya paper wreath and I was so excited for it, but the leather isn't what I was expecting it to be based off of the description online like this it's a black suede on the outside and it feels more rough than suede but it attracts a lot of lint because it's more rough and then the embossing is coming off and when I stick everything in the middle it pulls on the elastic on the top and the bottom of the book I need to figure out what I want to do for a cover because I don't have a cover for my everyday carry because the other cover that this was in another notebook belongs in that cover and I needed to put it back because the notebook was getting trashed just romping around in my backpack. I'm nervous to order another custom cover, but part of me wants to just say, screw it, order like a BDS Nomad with the Touch Me Leather black on the outside and the New Book Terra leather on the inside and just call it good. And that will be my book for the foreseeable future. I'm gonna set my phone up in front of me so I can see what's up. Here's the weekly. So this is all going in for 9.22. So anything here on 9.22, I'll know. These things have been on my to-do list and I just have not been making the time for personal admin, which is a problem. This other one can go up here, follow up. Sell camera. I'm looking, I'm working on these visualizations like a little by little. Okay, so that's weekly personal and everything else. Not a ton. Some of these things need to be put into the weekly for this coming week. Where is my client resources? Cool. I need to figure out how much I need to send her for her rebate. Follow up EHA Labs. Okay, I need to make a note in my dailies to check in with my weekly more consistently. Oh, I did that, I did that. my monthly because that probably won't get done this week and that's an October problem. I need to do my BNI education units. I just have marketing things to do. Start. Oh, I already wrote Everfit calendars. Oh, this week's gonna be busy, you guys. Oh, did that, did that, did that. Pumpkin spice pancakes. I don't know what that means. So this is a little bit chaotic. So what I just did is I actually just went through everything that was on here, but I took a picture of it so I don't have to constantly flip back and forth because there was a lot. And I migrated what needed to be migrated and then just left off what didn't need to be left off, which is really awesome. So a lot of this did actually get done. Some of it won't get done for another few weeks and some of it doesn't matter anymore. So then it just gets left off. And that's the benefit of doing migrations is you can choose what needs to be done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through my dailies and 
offload the dailies into the weekly and I'm not gonna really update my dailies until the day of. We're gonna write C916 because I don't wanna rewrite that list and that list is so good. And I did that, I did that. I need to cancel this, rebook this. I did that, I did that. July bridge claim, I keep skipping this. I need to follow up with Paige also. Okay, so Monday is now officially closed out. So now that I've done everything, I can just give that one a little star. Only thing is just some vitamins and then folding my clothes. I I'm, I'm already did the floors, so I can check that off. So that's my weekly cleaning and I did dust today. That means that Monday can get closed out because I just did Monday. So now we're gonna move on to Tuesday. We did that. I wrote that down, I wrote that down, I wrote that down, I wrote that down. Check Lauren F. Labs. And I don't need to do that, I did that, okay, perfect. So now we can close out Tuesday. <laughs> I, <laughs> this is literally what I do every single day, but here's the thing is I typically close out the day before. So like on a Tuesday, I'll close out Monday. On a Wednesday, I'll close out Tuesday. I do this daily, but I didn't do it at all this week because by the time Tuesday rolled around, I was still working off of this list. Then Wednesday was just insane, straight through. Then Thursday, I was sick. Friday, I had meetings and was also sick. And then yesterday, I did a lot of work, but I didn't migrate anything because I honestly didn't want to deal with it. And then now it's Sunday and we're going into the next week and I have to get it set up. And then once I have everything migrated, then I'll be able to actually look at my calendar this week and set stuff up, if that makes sense. Okay, so that was Tuesday is good. So now we're on to Wednesday. I don't need to do those. I... Don't need that. Don't need that. Did that. I did that. So I just wasn't checking things off this week, which is not like me. But again, I wasn't feeling super hot this week. So at least like the, at least the list was there. Reschedule mapped one-on-one. -on -one. Desiree meeting. I don't need to write that down. Billing follow-ups. I need to update my card here. I need to do that. I need to do this. Did that. Okay. Cool, so Wednesday's done. So there's only a handful. Okay, this is not as stressful as I thought it was gonna be, you guys. We're good, we're good. Now we're on to Thursday. So let me just dump everything into my weekly. Did that, did that, did that. Already wrote that down. BNI, name tag, and placemat info. I need to update. I need to prep for Saturday event. I already did that. I didn't really have any client resources that had to get done this week, so it worked out that I wasn't feeling fantastic. Okay, personal, I have a few things. I need more Dr. Teals. I ordered the Amazon order Ruben junk. Oh, I think I wrote it in my master. That's where, already did that. Okay, cool, that's good to go. So Thursday's done. That was last week, first Thursday this week. Whee! Now, let's get Friday. Friday, I think I was already good to go. Only thing is I need to reschedule one of my students because I was sick on Thursday for her lesson, so I need to reschedule. Okay, so that's the weeklies that needed to be. So everything's been migrated. Whee! So if I get to Friday, I'm gonna now be able to cross this off. Everything here is fully up to date, which is great. So now that actually worked out a lot. Sometimes if I know I have a lot of open days and I just don't wanna flip through, I'll take a photo of everything that's still like open and then just cross everything out and then review the photos so I can just flip to one or two pages versus flipping back to five or six. It just goes a little faster that way. So now that the week is migrated and you know it's migrated because I have a star, I need to check and see if there's anything I need to index. I need to page 118 and write these notes from this meeting that I had. And actually, I want to add something to my weekly base off of this for next month. And I need to ask, oh, actually, I don't need to do that. Is there anything else that needs to be, no, but those percent, anything else that needs to be indexed? Nope. This is all to do, so nope. This was for Ashley Labs email, so maybe I should 111. In case she, she asks me about that, I can go back and check my numbers. And Ashley, this is all for my workspace. Kiln Labs cost. Cool. So yeah, we're good. We are good, fam. Now is 
actually now migrate my weekly to-do list. Where is it? Okay, here we go. Yeah, I took a picture of this so I don't have to rewrite it. Now these things I do have to get done this week because it's all for stuff going into October. So this is client resources list. We're working on Tasia meal plan finder. I need my line down the middle. That's why I feel so discombobulated. What is happening? Two columns. The binder already started doing that. That needs to be good. Training, more and work, workouts, see her chat slash screenshots. I'm 99% sure it's screenshots. Stacy at home, Emily at home, and follow up on Venus support. Okay, cool. That's done. So now I'm going to set up my normal um, routine tracker. We're going to go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And we're going to go, we have Slack, we have Slack, we have Everfit, we've got G, YouTube, Facebook group, Facebook personal. This is a little messy this week because I just want to get this done and be over it. Airtable, updates, UID, and end of day. So this is basically everything that I have to get done over the course of each day. And I don't really feel like drawing in my boxes today, but I'm going to because otherwise it looks a hot mess and I need to see each section on its own. Look how easy that was. Okay, so the, this makes sense. This is client delivery. This is social media. This is community engagement. This is admin. So recurring daily. And then over here is where I'll put communication notes. So as I'm talking to people each day, I take notes just on who I'm talking to, what we're talking about, so I can follow up on things. Cause otherwise I don't remember what happens. There's just no way for me to remember all of that information. Okay, that line is crooked. So let's just toss some washi tape like right over here for cutesy things. We have not done that yet. Do a little. All right, so that's like my weekly migration. That's pretty much it. I just go through sweep for anything that's still like an open task decide if it needs to be moved over and then put it in the appropriate now as I go into the week what I'm planning on doing is looking and seeing what tasks I have in what categories and then block out my days accordingly so I have some weird days this week because my schedule is very condensed because of my travel that's coming up so I will need to time block out for marketing I will need to time block out for for client resources and client delivery. I will need to time block out for admin. For example, the only days that I have open times to work this week is really Monday and Friday. Then Saturday I have an event, but I could work before the event. Like I could wake up early and work. And then Sunday I have a photo shoot so I could work earlier in the day. And then I have Monday and then I fly out for a week at a conference. Yeah, we're real squished for time, but it, it's fine. We're gonna get everything done to the level that it needs to get done. So let me real quick actually just write in what is on my calendar so far this week. So I have a 9 a.m. Jackie. I need to rebook all my chiropractor appointments because I just don't know how I'm going to get there. I have already blocked out to work late on Monday night. I have a 9 a.m. Juliana, a 1.15. Liz, a 3 p.m. Ashley, a 3.30. Lauren, and a 4. Elena. Then my Wednesday, I have a 7.30 a.m. Angela, I have a 9 a.m. Lindsay, and I've got a 12.30 Katie, a 1.30 Jesse, then a 2 p.m. Laurel, then a 2.30 Andrew. See what I mean? Like my schedule is just wild. And I have a 5.30 Saya, and then a 6.15 Anna. Now this is not normal. This is just because everything's so condensed this week. I need to get B and I subs. Important. So that's for next week. Then Thursday, I have a mom's hour and then a 6 p.m. 8.30 BNI, 6 p.m. lesson. I think I'm gonna do a lot of at-home workouts this week because just me reducing the amount of transitions and drive time that I have to do this week is gonna be so important. All right, and then Friday, whew, Friday, the only thing I actually have on my calendar is a podcast interview. Julia. And then Zach is leaving for Wyoming on Friday afternoon. Then Saturday, I have a CBD event from 9.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. CBD event, which will be great. And then Sunday, 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., I have a photo shoot. Just a little quick branding shoot. It's been a couple of years since I've had some updated photos, so I need to do this. I need to do photo shoot prep 
work overflow. Pen. Why is my pen being stubborn? There we go. All right. I've been taking my adrenal support this last week just because everything has been just a little bit more blah, and I just am trying to stack the deck a little bit. I am definitely taking some me time to decompress and manage stress, but from a physiological perspective, I bring it in as needed during periods of high stress. Fish oil, magnesium, CBD, ham drops, relax. That's all I need. Then cleaning is always going to be bedding, wash, fold, dust, floors. Yay. Okay. So here we have it. This is the week. LOL. I still need to plug in when my chiropractor appointments are going to happen in here. If I'm being quite honest, I have no idea when that's actually going to happen. The only days I have to do this would be like really Monday and Friday, but I really want to be able to just wake up and work first thing on Monday. So I might do like a mid morning Monday appointment after rush hour, before lunch, come back, eat lunch, get back to work. So tomorrow is going to be a big lift day. I'm going to try to knock out as much of this as I possibly can and not add like anything else that comes in, unless it's immediate that day, it's going to just go on like next week's to-do list or not even next week if I'm being quite honest, because again, I'm traveling, but I'll put it in October so that when I get into October, I can sweep for that task or it'll go to the master task list because I sweep both of those weekly. So yeah, there we go. And I already have my dailies set up, just not with to-do lists yet. So I have my habit already filled in for the week. I just need to go through and do my timelines. And part of the reason I didn't put in my to-do list yet is because I wanted to just just see what all was rolling into this week. And I might set my dailies up a little bit different because of how I'm going to have to block my time out depending on the day. So I might have the daily focus, those specific tasks, and then Saturday, Sunday. And then here's my daily recurring client resources for this week and then communication notes. So actually, let me just make sure in my weekly, I write client resource box. All right, that's my weekly migration, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Wish me luck this week. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.